It's the Daily Doug. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to the Daily Doug. Thanks for being with me today on this Wednesday where I find myself doing something for the channel that I never thought that I would be doing. If you would have asked me five or six years ago, um, hey, what do you think about being on the internet and doing a review of a song by Tenacious D? I'm like, that would be fun, but I don't think I would be anywhere near doing that yet. Here I am, and I'm actually excited about it. It's going to be fun. I have great affinity for Jack Black, but for some reason, I have never known about this movie. So uh, the song that we're going to do is called Kickapoo, and I guess this goes under the movie music category for us, since this song is the lead track uh, from this uh, movie. And it's a comedy uh, musical film about uh, the rock duo Tenacious D. Uh, Jack Black and Kyle Gass wrote, produced, and starred in the movie. And the story takes us through uh, the band's formations and their journey to find a, uh, <laughs> a magical pick, the pick of destiny, right? That belongs to Satan. <laughs> and once found, it helps them to become rock legends. So. <laughs> Oh, I have to watch this movie, y'all. Uh, I can't believe that I've never known about this. I enjoy Jack Black and almost everything that I've seen him in. I remember uh, School of Rock. Uh, High Fidelity was great. Uh, even Kung Fu Panda, The Holiday. I'm sure there's many others. Um, and I know a bit about uh, Tenacious D just from observing popular culture. But I did not know about this movie, The Pick of Destiny. It's probably because it was released in 2006, and I was right in the middle of doing my doctoral studies during that time, so I am sure that I was not paying attention to what was going on in popular culture at that time, uh, which is why I missed it. And so all these years later, it's, it's great to get back to it. Here is the synopsis, friends. Uh, this is the first song from the movie. It tells the story of a young JB who longs to become a rock star, but he comes from a very religious family, and his dad forbids his listening to rock and metal in the home because it comes from the devil. <laughs> you know, and it harkens back to the, you know, the satanic panic and all of this uh, censorship that was going on in the in the 80s, right? So after his dad tells him that he can't listen to all this stuff, uh, Ronnie James Dio <laughs> comes to life and encourages the young JB to escape and go to Hollywood and start his quest towards stardom. And that's what happens, apparently, in the movie. And off goes young JB uh, to find glory uh, wherever he can find it. And I just can't wait to look at this, y'all. It's going to be so much fun. Jack Black is on lead vocals. He is also on the acoustic guitar. He is a co-songwriter. Kyle Gass is on backing vocals. He is also on guitars, and he is the other co-songwriter. We have guest uh, uh, appearances here. Meatloaf is a guest vocalist. I believe that he plays young JB's dad, <laughs> the religious dad. That's an, um, a great bit of casting, isn't it? Uh, and Ronnie James Dio himself uh, comes on as a guest vocalist. So let's wait no longer, friends. Let's take a look at Kickapoo from Tenacious D from their movie, The Pick of Destiny. Off we go. scene opens on a small house. A long ass fucking time ago in a town called Kickapoo. Wow, this they lived voice a is quite high. Family, religious through and through. But yay, there was a black sheep and he knew just what to do. His name was young JP and he refused to step in line. A vision he did see of fucking rock all the time. <laughs> he rode a tasty jam and all the planets did align. They got a great looking kid to be the young Jack Black. <laughs> okay, so the family is not having it. Uh oh. Dad's getting the belt out. 
Shit. Corporal punishment from the religious dad. A little more uh, electric here. Okay, cool. It's a sequential pattern. Chaos it will bring. Great bit of casting. Dio. He forgot. The one poster that he didn't take down. Similar progression. I'll never rock as long as I'm stuck here with my dad. Okay. Jables, you are hungry for the rock, but to learn the ancient method, secret doors you must unlock. Escape your father's clutches in this oppressive neighborhood. <laughs> On a journey you must go to On find a journey the you must go to find the land of Hollywood. I love it. In the city of fallen angels, where the ocean meets the sand, you will form a strong alliance and the world's most awesome brand. To find your fame and fortune. C sharp minor. Now, you will face your inner demons. Now, go, my son, and ride. It's kind of a five chord as they land on that G sharp chord. But are they gonna stay there? You will face your inner demons. Now, go, my son, and rock. With hunger in his heart. And he journeyed far and wide to find the secrets of his art But in the end he knew that he would find his counterpart That's the wrong Hollywood That's the wrong Hollywood That's the wrong Hollywood <laughs> All these different places called Hollywood Yeah, California So it stayed Now we get Jack Made it to Hollywood. And off we go. I have to watch this movie, friends. Maybe it should be the first movie reaction of a movie reaction channel. How do I not know about this? I almost want to watch it again. I will watch it again. Probably not right now, though. Um, the last verse. So he bailed from uh, effing Kickapoo with, this, with a hunger in his heart and he journeyed far and wide to find the secrets of his art, but in the end, he knew that he would find his counterpart. And I guess he's going to find uh, Kyle and uh, they will go about trying to uh, take over the world with their art. You know, we do so much music here that focuses on the human condition, and a lot of times it's negative. It's stuff that we're dealing with, stuff that we need to overcome, dark thoughts and and that sort of thing. And <clears throat> it's helpful to voice our, um, our thoughts on that and our emotions and try to just deal with what we're going through. And, and music can be a great companion to that. It's not often that we do these pieces and review these pieces that are wonderful and great in their construction, but they're meant to be funny and farcical at the same time. And it's just a breath of fresh air for me. I have a great affinity for that. I can't wait to watch the rest of it. I just love it. So uh, these guys are a great match for each other, Kyle and Jack, right? I've seen them on some things, like I said, in the past, but never in this. Uh, I read up on them a bit. They met 
uh, back in the day by uh, uh, both attending UCLA, and they met while they were in an acting troupe that was run by Tim Robbins, of all people, in the early 80s, and they formed a great friendship and a partnership, and all these years later, they're, they're doing their thing. I want to talk about Jack, though, for, for a second. Um, I read s some on his story and on his biography and what makes him tick, and I find him to be quite intriguing. His musicality, y'all, it shines through in just about everything that I've seen him in, even if there's no music in the scene. You know, his vocal delivery, he'll speed up, he'll slow down, uh, he'll go up and down in pitch, and sometimes he'll mimic what I think of as an operatic or a musical style of, of delivery, vocally. And he's always fascinating to watch. And sometimes it's hard to tell whether he is an actor who's really adept at music or if he is a musician who's really adept at acting. Sometimes it's hard to tell. And um, that special nature to his performances are what I think draw us in to his persona. And I can really relate to him, especially in High Fidelity. Have y'all seen that movie? It's a great book too, but I love his character in that movie. He's so witty and smart and a bit of a music snob, uh, which I try not to be, but it's fun sometimes to see other people acting in a musically snobbish way to others because we have those feelings, right? Uh, but his musical influences are especially uh, unique, I think. He has talked about uh, loving bands, a lot of these classic rock bands, uh, but especially bands like Led Zeppelin and Van Halen. But then he has also spoken about loving the vocal musical stylings of Bobby McFerrin. Y'all know Bobby McFerrin, I am sure. Bobby's one of the best at uh, singing in various tone colors and mimicking a whole variety of styles and of instruments and, and everything else. And I think this sort of affinity from Jack is what has led him to develop these skills that allow him to be really wonderful at these voice acting roles that he's done in animation. Stuff like Kung Fu Panda, uh, Shark Tale, I think he was in, and there's a new Super Mario Brothers movie coming out where he, I believe, voices Bowser. And isn't that a good <laughs> bit of casting? Um, I'll leave you with this. I found an, in, uh, an NPR interview that he gave uh, from about a decade ago. And he said this, he says, I don't really have any real spirituality in my life. I'm kind of an atheist. I find that interesting. Um, and then he says, but when music can take me to the highest heights, it's almost like a spiritual feeling. It feels or fills that void for me. It comes across, doesn't it? It feels like he's open and willing to go wherever uh, the uh, the muse takes him. And music is always there right alongside of him, almost giving him power and courage to go where he needs to go for a role or for uh, a project or anything like that. And uh, it's just fun, y'all, to take some time here on a Wednesday to listen to something like this, to uh, to to kind of uh, calm down <laughs> a little bit, and not be so um, into trying to figure out what makes the world turn, and instead just enjoy ourselves for a few minutes, and that's what these guys in um, in Tenacious D do so well. They just allow us to enjoy ourselves. They are so entertaining, and that's why I think I need to watch this movie. Uh, but that'll be for another time, probably on my own time, y'all. But if you've never seen it, I think now, uh, if I were you, I'd go watch it if, if I can as well. It sounds like a fun time together with Kyle and with Jack, and this was fun, y'all. Maybe we'll do some more uh, Tenacious D in the future if y'all would like me to do that. Uh, please let me know what uh, title from them should be next. I, uh, I look forward to seeing what y'all think. But that is all for today, my friends. I thank you for being with me, and we will see you next time on another edition of The Daily Doug.